न्यूजीलैंड के खिलाफ लगातार दूसरा मैच हारने के बाद पाकिस्तानी टीम के बैटिंग कोच एडम होलियो का आज प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में आए तो मैंने उनसे सवाल किया कि आप पिछले पांच मैचेस से पाकिस्तानी टीम के साथ काम कर रहे हैं आखिर क्या मसला है हमारी बैटिंग के साथ कि लगातार पांच मैचेस हार गई है तो उनका जवाब सुनिए कि वो क्या कहते हैं No, I, I think technically, that they, I mean, Australia is the number one side in the world, and they're doing that to everybody who goes to Australia at the moment. So let's put that one aside because they do that to everyone at the moment. They're number one team in Australia. They haven't, get, they don't get beaten there. Um, we come here and we've played two. We've been chasing two very big totals. So um, you know, maybe on another day we win, and maybe we don't. So. And they're two different formats as well, so I don't, I wouldn't read into that too much. The only common denominator of both things is that I'm the batting coach. So other than that, it's, um, you know, we just have to stay positive and work hard. And these guys are working very hard. Hafiz has got these guys working hard. They all buying into it. They're all trying to put it straight. So I know all the media and the fans are frustrated, but. Trust me, no one's more frustrated than us who they're trying to put it right. So we're trying our hardest. Yeah, um, you know, we looked like we were going to be chasing a bit more than that there. But I think the captain bowled a good over. Um, Shaheen bowled a good over. Um, we spoke about in the last game trying to be a bit more different with our bowling. A couple of bounces in that over and a slow ball got the wicket. Then we kind of started a bit of a chain reaction and kept them down to what was the total that. I mean, it wasn't an easy chase, but it was one that we could get. So um, we're happy with that. Well, basically between overs eight and thirteen, I think we got probably yeah, two boundaries in that in that period that really killed us. Um, I think in both games we've we've done all right, done pretty well in those in the first power play, but then we kind of lost it in that period. And um, I guess that what's happened when you. You know, you're on a bit of a losing streak. When you're winning, you you, you get those the things go your way, and and just at the moment, I guess they're um, you know we come off of a hard series in Australia, and then a couple of tough games here. So um, you know, just got to keep our chin up and keep working hard. The boys are doing that; they're working hard in training, and everyone's still talking positive. So still three games to go. So see what happens at the end. Is that your job then as a coach? Um, I, I, I think it is, but I think it's also everyone's responsibility. Um, you know, whether you're a cricket team or working in the office, you know, you need everyone to buy into keeping everything buoyant, um, keep things level rather than buoyant. Because you know, when you're on top, you don't want to be too over the top. You got to try and stay level. So I guess rather than being over the top, you know, high, we just want to remain calm and not get negative or despondent about the fact that. In a couple of the games we could have won, but that's what makes cricket great, isn't it? That's what makes us all keep coming back and watching because you never know what's going to happen. Adam, knowing someone that's kind of gone in and out of this New Zealand team in recent years, there's someone that's having to play against him. What's been so impressive about him in the last couple of games? Um, what I love about him is that he's on two very flat and good batting tracks. He's been the most unpredictable bowler. He bounces, slow balls. He has given the batsman nothing to expect. So he's, in fact, he's probably someone for us to look to and try and mimic because I think he's been probably the bowler who, in both games, has really put the brakes on us. Pakistan team, the our bowling is the world class one. But in two T Twenty matches, almost we have conceded two hundred. Do you think yeah. Pakistan better should chase? Um, I think both grounds, both Auckland and here, have been high-scoring grounds. Um, you know, it's a bit of both. You know, we probably conceded a few too many runs, and we probably didn't quite get enough. So, both things combined, you know, with the I think the confidence is a little bit low from hard series in Australia, and you know, when you start winning games, then you find that you find ways of getting over those. Uh, getting getting those wins, but at the moment we just got to keep working hard, and there's only one way to fix those problems, and the hard work. 
and hard work's always been the answer to any problem. And what do you think about Asim Khan? Many criticizing that Pakistan is compromising on keeping position and one key better as well. Yeah, well, he's a, I mean, he's a destructive batsman. I mean, unfortunately, tonight he came in and he really needed to go straight away. He got out. Um, it's one of those things where if it works, you look great. If it doesn't work, you look stupid. So it's, um, you know, that sport, again, that's what we love about sport. You know, if we, if we all knew what was going to happen, it would be boring. If we go and watch um, The Bold and the Beautiful or go and watch some TV sitcoms, which is really like um, very obvious things, but sport's beautiful because you never know what's going to happen and people of all shapes and sizes and speeds and athleticisms can play the game. So um, he's an exciting guy because he's, you know, he's a big hitter of the ball. We haven't seen it in these two games, but I'm sure he'll do well in the future. So he needs more chances, you think? Well, it's not up to me to decide. I'm just the batting coach. And I'm, I, you know, um, but I think there's something else. Do you think he deserves more chances? I don't know. I mean, he's, I think he's... A talented guy but there's lots of talented guys in the squad so you just have to see what the pitch is and what the makeup of the team is in the next game so it's um, it's not a case of just he deserves to be in because there's a lot of good players in Pakistan and to be the wicketkeeper for Pakistan you have to be at the top of your game so we'll see.